Hi guys. Um, the video that follows is a very niche type of video uh, and it'll specifically be of interest to classic uh, fly dressers where I'm going to dissect uh, and put back together uh, a classic salmon fly. So as I said, it's not for everybody. So if it's not your thing, uh, hopefully we'll find some other videos in the future uh, for everybody's taste. But as I said, this one is particularly uh, particularly niche so it's also going to be quite long and drawn out uh, so what I'll probably do here is to split this video over several goes and we'll tie the fly in installments as I said uh, because it's there's a lot of different things going on in it and uh, but if you're still with me uh, I suppose we'll move into the video Okay, so um, I'm going to sort of combine the dissection pictures with uh, the reconstruction of the fly here. So this was some sort of a Shannon type fly. Uh, and I'm going to reconstruct it where possible using the materials that I took off it. Uh, and where not, we're going to replace those. So this is the hook uh, that the fly was tied on. So I suppose this is something in the region of a 5 or 6 o. Uh, and I'm going to try and, as I said, adopt the, what I've seen in the tying. So when we took this fly apart, uh, I suppose the first thing that would be on here is our, uh, our gut eye. Uh, and generally, uh, when I've taken flies apart, there was quite a heavy bed of like a wax thread on the, uh, on the hook before the eye was actually added. But in this one, um, it wasn't. Uh, so the tying had also been done with a white thread. I'm going to use this stuff in hand here uh, and what I'm going to do is wax that so I, I'm going to pull my thread through that and I also think that it probably had some sort of like a black cobbler's type wax thing on it as well so I'll just run that through. So what was slightly unusual, as I said, was the number or lack of uh, turns of thread underneath the uh, underneath the eye, and also it had been put on like this. There were sort of it was doubled. There were maybe five or six turns or something like that. See, because it's waxed, it's going to stick to it, uh, and then the eye obviously went on the underside. Now this is the original eye. And I originally thought that the eye had uh, been damaged and sort of slipped because it was quite sort of bunched up here and I thought fibres had come off it but when it turned out was that it was actually a knot from a, a twisted gut leader that had been attached to it. So as I said we have this. Put a doubled thread to get it started. The eye is now holding this thing on, so I'll get rid of it. And then it turned into single strand from then on. You can see there's a little bit of taper that come into the uh, the body of the fly with cutting of the of the uh, the gut eye strands. So 
that's basically how the fly had been started off and that I shouldn't pull out of there. So um, the next thing that was attached was uh, a flat silver uh, as the rear of the fly, the uh, tag or tip and that had been tied in on top and it was quite a heavy tinsel that was then folded back on itself and wrapped backwards several turns till about there and then that came forward this point then it was tied in on top and then wrapped back over the tinsel a few turns you want to tie this uh, if you're tying with uh, in hand or with an open thread no bobbin as such then you can catch your uh, thread underneath the blind eye uh, and, and the gut eye and that sort of holds it in position while you sort out other materials etc so next what was on this fly was uh, an orange uh, butt uh, of uh, or tag I suppose of silk uh, and this had been tied in at this point on our on our tag tip and then wrapped backwards and then forwards so it created quite a little uh, blob as such so we get uh, a bright orange if we have one in and come forward, take it up here and catch it in and then you'll see what I mean here so the orange floss was then wrapped backwards and it was fairly 50-50 uh, sometimes we have quite a, a difference between the tip and the tag This was several wraps to create quite a blob, sort of shape as well as I'll describe it as. Take my time, silk then back again to here and catch this off. this forward again and underneath there. Now I suppose when we're tying flies for show we'll burnish and what at this but I don't think there was any of that going on in this fly. And the next thing then that went on to it was a topping uh, but when I look at this the topping was to me fairly substantial which would suggest that we have quite a, a big tail or long tail. Um, so we'll have a look here and see can we find something. I also would say it was probably fairly straight. Uh, so we'll have to have a look and see can we find something along the lines of that. But it's going to be a 
a pretty hefty one. Push that till you get it on top. And if you leave a little bit of the topping sitting here, you can use it as uh, another sort of catch. So, to my mind, as I said, we had a fairly big long tail, which is well in excess of what we generally would accept as you know like a, a gap or a gap and a half of the of the hook here so following that uh, the next thing that was on was an Indian crow as a, as a tail veiling however uh, the unusual thing with this here was that again it seemed like a decent sized feather but it was actually tied cupped up See, can we find a feather to suit that? Tie back down and have it in cash. So as you can see, the fact that it's tied upside down gives us this kick. I've just noticed there's a couple of fibers of that that I don't like there, so I'll take them off. And that is our tail. Um, so to finish off the rear of the fly, then I suppose the last thing to want here would be a black ostrich butt. So, if we find a black ostrich feather. And here I'm using a nice tight same idea as you'd tie in a wet ankle. So this was tied in somewhere on top of it. And I think for wrapping ostrich butts you should get a bit of wax on it. Wrap the base of it on. Thread under for catch. four to five turns or so on that. Tie them on top. And then put that into catch again. So that is the rear uh, portion of our fly tied plus the gut eye put on and I think we'll leave uh, the body then as a separate video so uh, if you like what you see like subscribe as I said I know it's a niche sort of a video and it's been kind of it's going to be quite intricate uh, but if you like what you see give us a like subscribe tell your friends and until next time tight lines and thanks for watching